Some of the questions I get a lot are, is my Arduino Pro Micro compatible with MobiFlight? Is my Arduino Uno compatible with MobiFlight? Is my Beyblade compatible with MobiFlight? So right now I'm gonna go ahead and show you where you can find how to figure out if it is. So right here on the MobiFlight website, you can see under flexible, there are these three supported Arduinos. These are the like official supported Arduinos as of filming. There's the Arduino Mega, the Arduino Pro Mini, and the Arduino Pro Micro. I'm gonna tell you though, they just released in beta the Arduino Uno, and that opened a whole lot of possibilities. I have an Arduino Uno right here, and it's a lot smaller, so I can have fun little prototyping blocks like this. If you look out for announcements in the MobiFlight Discord, you can see when new modules are released and stuff like that, but this should be the most up-to-date list of hardware, as well as under the documentation module right here. Yeah, so currently, officially, these three Arduinos are supported. The one that looks like this, the one that looks like this, and the one that looks like this. All of the Arduinos are flashed exactly the same, so go for it. Have a field day. You can use Arduino clones with MobiFlight. They work really well at a fraction of the price. If you want to support open source hardware development, you can buy a genuine one or donate to Arduino to keep them running. But if you want to use a clone, some of them have a different chip that requires a driver. This is called the CH340 chip, and you'll need a CH340 driver. You can download it from this site I have linked in the description. Basically, Google CH340 driver, and you can either use this first link from SparkFun, or you can use the one I like to use that's right here, the second link. Under this Windows tab, because you have to have MobiFlight on a Windows device, Download the Windows CH340 driver. I already actually have this downloaded right here, so it'll show up there. Once it's downloaded, it'll show right here. You can extract everything, and it'll show in a little folder right here. Inside this folder, there's a little .exe that'll run, and it'll allow you to install drivers. You can click this little install button, and it should say the driver is installed successfully. I've already done this, so it doesn't really like me anymore. If it does give you a failure message, try restarting your computer, or even updating it. To be honest, when you're first starting out, wiring can be really difficult. You don't know what goes where, how it works, and it's all kind of just confuzzling. To remove a layer of complexity with soldering wires together to make nice, tight joints, I'm using these DuPont connectors, these jumper wires. These jumper wires are a set length, you don't gotta worry about length, and you just plug one end into one end and the other into the other, and if it doesn't stick, you can use hot glue and tape. As long as you don't tell anyone. These are super handy, I'll leave a link to them in the description below. To also make sure this is a smooth process, I'll provide a link or a picture of the wiring of everything in this course, so if it's even just a basic switch, I'll route it and kind of show you how everything works. Stick with it, don't give up, and I know sometimes it does feel like this. No, nothing. Hey. Okay. Did you get the wire out? The red wire? No, no. No, the red one. Show me the red wire. The red one. Yes, good. Now, you're going to plug that red wire where the blue wire goes in the board. Put the red wire where the blue wire goes in the board, okay? But don't let them touch. See where you took the blue one off? Yes. Now, put the red one... No, don't, don't put the blue one back. Put the red one where the blue one was and put the blue one where the red one was. But be careful. They're oppositely charged, so keep them away from each other. Make sure you hold them apart from... No, hold them apart. <laughs> Are you okay? Well, it was worth a shot. <laughs>